so I get to tell you guys a little bit <laughs> about like my side of the gaming world. I know I yes. seem like such a little noob to you guys. <laughs> like I don't play games, but the one this is like you know this topic is a good reason why is because the League of Legends world is so so expansive. I mean, to the point that I would I would definitely argue and stand by the fact that League of Legends is a really big reason why the gaming industry in general grew the way that it did and one of those big reasons is is their yearly um, world championships so mm -hmm. the world championships is going to be starting on the 25th um and it, it's a it's a bit like in the beginning it's a bit of a long process because there's like group stages and just just like any other competition um but the production of like the the finals and the the quarterfinals and the semifinals is just insane it's amazing so, yes yeah. yeah. so, we'll have you guys like gone to watch any bit of it before like they, it's it's like yeah. a super bowl really i mean like last year i not even just last year i think in the, the year last before years, yeah it, yeah yeah it's been uh, like they uh, used augmented reality mm -hmm. um in the past mm. like they are so innovative mm. in terms of how and just right as a whole like how gaming could work in different outlets um whether it's music you yeah. know, uh, concerts, like they're really just great at building this brand that spreads out to so many different avenues outside yeah. of just being a gamer and a nerd. Like it makes you want to be cooler. Like we have these <laughs> celebrities that are trying to do songs with Riot, right? Yeah. Like Kiki Palmer, like trying to do songs with Right, because they see how cool and how much effort they put into everything. Um, I've had the pleasure of like seeing some of this stuff. Obviously, I wish firsthand, but like just watching worlds and as a person who cannot play league um, for the life of me and will not play league again because I suck <laughs> at it, I do appreciate worlds because of just uh, of all of this that we're seeing right now. Yeah, definitely. I mean, last year... I think they've reached their peak of like a hundred million views. Even I, I think that was just like a concurrent peak, but like throughout Twitch, YouTube, um, all like the Asian streaming sites, they've reached like their highest viewership. Um, and like every year, like the first, their first world was in 2011. And that was only like a peak of 1.6 million viewers. And now we're reaching like even higher every year. And like, uh, and just like completely filling out venues, getting people on board. Like people who don't even play the game will come and watch Worlds. Yeah. Just, right. just because of the experience that they offer with the production, with the competition, with the storylines, the narratives. And I think that's just like, like so paramount to the growth of the gaming industry that I'm excited to see like what else, not that not just Riot has, but like anyone else at this point because we're on at, it. Yeah. yeah. Like, Oh, Sorry, no, go ahead, go ahead. You cut out for me, so I thought you were done, but go ahead. Oh, no, no, it's okay. <laughs> I, I was just going to say is, like, it. it's what makes it so exciting. I think we actually talked about this before on one of the episodes, like, the production of esports and, and, like, how it is versus, like, sports trying to go uh, live, yes. right? Yeah. yeah. Um, well, I was I was going to say, yeah, sorry, go. Oh, no, no, you, uh, you've okay. been waiting to go. You go. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, like, um, you know, you said you can't wait for not just what Riot would put out mm -hmm. or like other companies. I don't care about other companies at this point. I want Riot. Like all <laughs> of the things Riot is working on, like fighting games, like their comics, their anime, like it is, yeah. this is, Worlds is an example of how Riot's able to do so many different things and put top-notch quality to yeah. all of those things mm -hmm. that it just makes me more hyped for all their other games and like right. shows that are coming out. And I am not even a fan of League of Legends, you know, like, <laughs> so it's insane that they're able to captivate us. And like you said, like, this just shows how gaming could evolve to all these other avenues and be just as, if not more successful. Right. It feels mm -hmm. like Riot is trying to be like the Disney of <laughs> gaming. Yeah. I'm Camille and you're watching right. Riot. You know, they'll start Watch. doing that. It's like I'm Faker and you're watching <laughs> Riot League of Legends right. World. Oh, yeah. no. That's what they're gonna start doing yeah. when they, when they come out. That. Someone's gonna try it. 
That's so funny, actually. I just planned their next world's <laughs> intro. There you go. No. <laughs> it's like a downgrade of production. <laughs> <laughs> so, but no, you you're on to something. I, like they are becoming the next Disney. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully. Yeah. Not. When you look, they at they are for sure. Like it's it's probably the biggest esport. Is that is that safe to say? I, I think next I would say Dota, so. Yeah. Yeah. Dota, yeah. And it's just it's just massive the esports scene for League. And I I'm not well versed in it enough. Um so I don't know enough, but like just from the outside looking in, even from someone like myself who mm. barely knows. Like I you just you just still know how big it is, mm. you know? Even for someone who like barely has an understanding of League, I've played it like maybe five times a couple of years ago uh i just it's crazy how huge of an esport right. it is yeah well i think Oop. oh yeah go ahead oh wait no you want did you want to say something before? i feel like oh. you've been trying to say I was, just gonna, I was just gonna say when you look at like dota and league and how they've developed over the years Dota yeah. followed more of the the sports path, right? They tried to follow that kind of production in that kind of style. Whereas yeah. League of Legends, I feel like, took the music route. They followed EDM and the big spectacle. They they saw like the that pop they... culture aspect exactly. of yeah. you know something that becomes so pop, like uh, celebrityism, right? Like right. they Faker becomes this huge celebrity. They know Michael how to work Gordon. on that, right? Yeah, League of Legends, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. And, yeah. The entertainment aspect. And that just shows you, like, you have to diversify. And we're seeing that in esports as a whole. All these different orgs, all these big names do way more than just gaming or way more than competing. They've created their own entertainment brand, their own production company that is now known for, like, there's how, how much merch is out there. And someone should do a survey or, like, just tally how much <laughs> merch is out there in the gaming world for... Right. For I creators wearing a hundred thieves. Yeah, yeah. Because this is a huge hundred thieves fan. Just um, the merch, okay. Just the merch. <laughs> they, they just have some really games, nice merch. But they have really <laughs> nice merch. Um, but, but that just shows what you have to now do. Like, and when you look at any fandom, it's like, yes, you are a fan of the core. You may be a fan of the games, mm -hmm. but yeah. If I see if you're okay, so Alex, if you're a fan of League and you start wearing a really cool sweater mm. and it doesn't look very like it doesn't look like a League Gamer game, <laughs> <laughs> but it has a really cool emblem, I'm like, hey, this is this is really cool. I may want to get right. one. Where'd you get that? And you're like, oh, right. off Riot's website. I'm gonna go on Riot's website, check out what else they have, and I'm into you know fighting games. I'm like, oh. They're they're developing a fighting game where I'm into anime and be like, whoa, I need to watch this. And that's how you keep your businesses growing. Yes. And when you have the amount of money Riot has, why the heck not? As long as you're able to keep up that quality. And that's the thing. That's the, that's the scary thing. Because right. they're branching off to all these different avenues around the same time um, that you really don't know how all these different IPs will turn up. Um, mm -hmm. So you just have to hope. And if, if they bomb or tank really hard or say League starts to suffer because they're focusing on all their other avenues, that's when you have a problem. It kind of is, yeah. honestly. <laughs> but at least the quality of the game, or at least that's what most people say. But I mean, I, I still really enjoy the game. Um, but what I really like about like, you know, the, the world season is that like Riot has done a really good job of like cultivating this experience, which again is like what we were talking about before, like the difference between esports and like real sports is that I feel like with esports you can like, create this whole experience. Whereas like like you were talking about Malik with Dota, and they took like a more traditional sports aspect, where it's just like okay, I want to root for this team. But mm -hmm. what Riot did yeah. is like by expanding to so many things like in entertainment, now it is all about like just being there. And like wondering what are they gonna do? What what song is gonna come out? Or what uh, augmented reality <laughs> are they right. are they gonna create? Or what what celebrity are they gonna feature? And it just yeah. becomes something that like everyone can enjoy, even if you don't necessarily know what's going on. Which mm -hmm. is what I really, really, right. really love that Riot has done, and like kind of opened other people's eyes to what esports could be. 
Yeah, yeah. it's kind of like um, what Bleacher Report's done with the basketball season and creating this whole game of zones where it's like a um, what a Game of Thrones inspired like anime of NBA players. Um, they just there it's and it's creating that content that's very unique, right? So people will know if they don't play your game, they know what League of Legends is. Like you yeah. ask someone what's League of Legends, you know it. Although you might not have even seen the game, you know what it is because of KD, KDA, right? Like you know those those alarms sound off of like that's that KDA thing, right? Um, so so I just can't wait to see what else Riot has up their sleeves um, because yeah. I they're they're really good at it. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, well. Uh, world starts on the 25th, but it's kind of, a, I actually don't even remember, but it's a bit of a long process. But you'll definitely hear when finals is coming up. Oh, yeah. And then we can see what they have in store because it's going to be pretty exciting. So, did Thanks. they had their performance or opening performance this weekend? Or, no. oh, see, so yeah, we actually forgot to talk about this, but what came out is like every year <laughs> <laughs> they come out with a song, like a world song yeah. that's like kind of like the anthem. That yeah. they played throughout the whole competition, and this this year it was um, featuring Jeremy McKinnon from A Day to Remember. If anyone listens to like old emo stuff from before, and also Max and Henry, who I don't know who those people are, but still <laughs> another like cool celebrity feature, like non endemic coming in. Um, they've had before like Imagine Dragons. Uh, they had the Glitch Mob before, and like some of their other songs. Um, but yeah, they like they always just create these really uh, like well, they try to make a hype song, and then usually they have like really vi beautiful visuals that go in the video. So this video is about um, just like a, an aspiring player who they actually have Faker. Yeah, I saw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I actually have Faker come in and like kind of take him under his wing. But the funny thing is that Faker actually didn't even qualify for Worlds. Yeah. <laughs> and so, but I mean, he's still Faker. He's, so he's the still, celebrity. Yeah, of he's the still, game, like, right? Jordan. Um, but yeah, he was like a heavy part of the video. Uh, and I, I guess like this one was just all about like learning from the greats. Um, I mean, it's open which is interpretation. <laughs> yeah, which when they do worlds, like especially now with the pandemic, I wonder what they will do for the opening. I know last year True. they actually had KDA or was it KDA? No, they had the Kiki Palmer group. Yeah, I forgot what they're yeah, called, this is, but this is a different one. Yeah, um, they had um, them perform at the beinning of oh, worlds. True damage. So, yeah, That's true damage. damage. Yeah, <laughs> they had them perform right. So I can't wait to see if they will do like a. They yeah. uh, it's riot, so you know they're they're still mm -hmm. gonna do like some sort of performance at the beginning of worlds, Definitely. but how that would look so, like. So I actually have uh I was in a uh League of Legends Worlds press conference today, uh oh, earlier this morning. Nice. And they are doing so if you're in Shanghai, uh there is a they're doing a very limited audience for uh the finals for the for the world's uh finals. Mm -hmm. And so that is something where we could see them do something socially distanced, but also put on a big performance and, and prove that, you know, esports can survive online and in person in a socially oh, wow. distanced format. Yeah. So we'll see how it goes. It's supposed to be a limited audience. They haven't released a lot of information. All they have announced is that uh, there will be a limited audience allowed at the 2020 uh, finals in Shanghai. Wow. Yeah, that'll be interesting to check out. Uh, well, well, I feel like Alex, you're gonna have to give us all the news from Worlds because oh. you're our League of Legends <laughs> expert. Uh, but until then, that is all the time that we have here today. Uh, Caboose, what do you have coming up this week? Uh, just streaming some more Avengers. You know, uh, they got new content in there. Some slight new content that they added in there. So I've just been playing a little bit more of that. Uh, also got a big tournament that I'm running with my buddy Destroyer called the Champions of the Realms. That'll be this week. Wednesday is the pool play. Friday is the top eight. So a lot of exciting stuff for Mortal Kombat 11 there, especially as well since Ed Boon is teasing that some new Mortal Kombat content might be coming our way soon. Um, and then besides that, you know, you can just keep it locked on my socials, Twitter and Instagram at Caboose EK or YouTube.com forward slash Caboose to keep yourself up to date on all things superhero gaming related and Mortal Kombat 11 related when that new DLC ends up getting revealed, if it is new DLC. And Malik, what do you have? Any new articles coming to the Squad State uh, website? 
Um, I will be working on a new Amazon article uh, about their kind of titles. They've got three MMOs that they're working on right now. So let's hope for the best with any of those. Um, but yeah, you can just follow me on social medias at Malik Shope uh, for everything that I'm working on and staying up to date. All right. I'm going to have to check out that Amazon article um, on the website, squadstate.com. Remember, we have new news come in every day uh, with great writers like Malik here. But Alex, I know you got some more league grinding happening yeah. at the end of the week. What's going on? Yes. And you actually might be happy to hear this, but since I've moved, I have like a whole setup downstairs. So I've actually been playing some console games and I, I was oh. just downloading um, Devil May Cry because I was because <laughs> of yes. you guys. Yes. And so I don't want to. I want to nice. play it now. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna play that though. Enjoy the hell. Not related to streaming though, but just thought I'd let you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to get your shots next week on DLC. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and tomorrow I'll be streaming right here at Squad. I don't know. It's like midday, but I feel like I'm due for a nap soon. Am I old? Um, <laughs> I'm like, wait, I, I want to sleep, uh, but I won't be sleeping tomorrow between 12 to 4. I'll be streaming right here. I'll be streaming some uh, Mario 3D All Stars. I've never right. played Mario Sunshine before. It's pretty so I'm hard, hoping, actually. It's just so is know. it? Oh, no. Well, lots of failing and falling off platforms. Well, That's what I do. Like <laughs> no, not Mar Sunshine. The other one. Oh, okay. Kind of hard. Oh, okay, okay. No, yeah, well, Camille, like, she said she has played Sunshine. I've never played yeah. Sunshine. I know. Even, even I've played Sunshine. I know. <laughs> she, we've talked on the phone about me not playing Sunshine, and Marissa almost ripped me a new one. So, yeah, I have to play Sunshine for my friendship um, for Marissa Roberto. But I'll also be um, doing some COD uh, gameplay on my own channel. So just follow me on my socials at this is Camco everywhere so you know when I'm going live and where I'm going live. But remember, if you want to know when Squad is live, follow us, turn your notifications on, as well as hit us up on our Twitter, at Squad State, if you have any like uh, topics that we should discuss next week, as well as to check out the website, squadstate.com, for all your news and guides. But until then, we will see you next time. Thank you guys so much for watching, and peace.